Hey Brian, what you eating? I don't know, it's just something I found in the fridge. Those are some mushrooms I found in the woods. Oh! 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 <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Both on my channel and in my regular life, I've been crossing paths with a lot of people that are really into wild mushroom identification. And that's always been a weak suit of mine. I, I can identify turkey tail mushrooms, but that's about it, and those aren't really all that useful for anything. Uh, but in you know wanting to kind of make up for that deficit, I have been kind of researching mushrooms a bit lately, and this right here, I was just walking through the woods with River, and we came across this thing, and I feel like I have seen this a lot as being a wild edible. I, I kind of forget the name of it. I, th I thought it was like Hen of the Woods or something like that. Um, but I'm going to collect some of these. I'm not going to like just pop them in right now, but I'm going to collect some of these and try to positively identify it back at home. Now, if I feel like I have a really good sense of the identification, I might end up trying to eat them. Uh, but I'm only going to do it if I can be really sure. The way it is, I know, with plants is that there are some plants that you know, they're safe to eat, but there are other things that look kind of like them that are dangerous to eat. So you might want to stay away from those. And I'm wondering if it's the same way with mushrooms, where there are some mushrooms that it's just like, well, there's no other poisonous ones that look like that. And if I can figure that that's the case with these guys here, I might try eating these. So I'm going to collect some of them up, bring them back, and I will share with you what I find about them. I see a lot of these. So if I could find out that these are edible and they're this easy to identify, that's a lot of food. I brought these mushrooms back to my house, did a little more research, and now I feel very confident that these are safe to eat. They're referred to as chicken of the woods, which I guess is different from hen of the woods. For me, honestly, it doesn't really matter what they're called. I think that memorizing names is a lot less useful than remembering what's safe and what's not safe. And this particular mushroom, whatever the heck you call it, uh, they call it chicken of the woods, uh, is a safe one to eat. And the way that you can identify it is a general look of it. It's got this orangey color. Uh, you know, it's growing out of dead rotting things. And underneath it has all these little micro, tiny little microscopic holes. Uh, and by microscopic, I mean you can kind of, you can see that there's holes there. They're not so small that you can't see. Uh, under a microscope, you know, it's very clear what they are. Kind of neat, it actually, it looks like kind of like looking through a screen sort of pattern when you look at the bottom. But the, uh, the thing that makes me feel confident about this is that there, for this thing, Chicken of the Woods, there are no poisonous lookalikes that, you know, look very close to this and, and could hurt me. It, even the closest things to this, you know, have gills underneath, so it's really obvious that it's not this. So I'm going to be cooking this up, and the, the method I'm going to be using to do it is just breaking it up into little pieces. I'm going to wash all these guys because it was just outside. Who knows what, like a fox came by and took a leak on it or whatever. I'm going to be uh, uh, taking these and you want to cook this stuff. I thought maybe I'd cook it up with some uh, onions and then I was going to mix it in with just this Indian simmer sauce. I love Indian foods. So I'm going to mix it in with that. I know that a lot of people when they get into, you know, wild edibles out in the woods is like kind of a survival component to it. Uh, you know, if you're out in the woods, you got nothing to eat. You know, you can, you know, grab chicken in the woods and you can eat that. Uh, that's great. That's really useful, but my favorite part about it right now is that I can mix these things into my dishes immediately, get the nutritional benefits out of it. This has some medicinal sort of benefits too. It helps with inflammation and all these other things. It sounds like just an overall great thing to add to your diet. Uh, and uh, it, I'm saving money. I didn't have to go out and I didn't have to buy mushrooms. I got these fresh, super fresh mushrooms. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just great to be integrating that stuff into your diet. And it's also great because I didn't have to garden it. I didn't have to take care of it. I didn't have to water it or anything. My garden is the woods and uh, you know, it's a lot easier that way. So I'm going to cook these up, saute them, mix in the simmer sauce. I'm going to do it with a little bit of rice. And uh, that's the plan for dinner tonight. That's it. Well, everything's all set. Uh, we're sitting down to dinner. And I thought I'd invite over my ex-wife uh, to try it out. She has no idea what we're eating. Uh, just dive right in. <laughs> Give a little taste test. Oh, it's not, it's kind of, it's thoroughly unoffensive, don't you think? The texture's a little dry. It's not I too, haven't eaten whatever that is. Yeah. I see why they call it chicken of the woods. It's good when you, uh, 
you're biting. I can't taste it because it's got all the Indian stuff on it, but the, it kind of rips like chicken meat does. I don't know. You can call it cardboard of the woods for all I know. I really can't taste it. I'm not dead yet, though. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.